Today we're going to be making one of Antonio's dessert recipes. Uh, he calls them angel's farts, which is really just a fritter with some with a filling. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we are going to change the recipe just slightly. Sorry, Antonio, just a little bit. <laughs> we're going to start with the filling first. Mm -hmm. Because the last time we made it, the filling took a long, long time to set. Um, and we also changed the ingredients slightly to make it more to our liking. Only slightly. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we will tell you what the original ingredients were if you want to try Antonio's way. Um, at this point, we ran into some trouble with our microphone. So unfortunately, a lot of our audio uh, for this video was lost. So we're going to have to improvise and re-record our audio. No, so we're basically just going to tell you what's happening in the video. Um, we're going to start our filling by whisking four large yolks together. Once we have that whisked, we'll be adding the sugar. Now, the recipe calls for caster sugar, which we couldn't find, so we'll be using regular granulated sugar. And that is 100 grams of sugar. And you want to whisk that together until the sugar dissolves and it turns a light yellow color. Okay, now that we are just about done with mixing our eggs and sugar, uh, as you can tell, it has a nice light yellow color. The next we're going to add uh, two ingredients that are not part of the original recipe. Which is a pinch of salt and two teaspoonfuls of cornstarch to help it set up a bit. And then we're going to mix it really well. And it looks like our water is getting up to a bowl there as well. So next we're going to add our egg mixture to a bigger bowl and make sure to scrape out all of it. Next we'll be adding our liquid. Now the recipe calls for 150 milliliters of Marsala wine, but when we tried it the first time we found that the alcohol was just a little bit too strong for us. So we decided to cut the quantity of the Marsala in half um, and we'll only be using 75 milliliters of the Marsala which we'll be adding to our eggs there. And then to make up the remainder of the liquid, we'll just be adding 75 milliliters of milk. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, mix that into our filling mixture. So when that is mixed, we're going to reduce the heat until the water is at a gentle simmer, because you want to cook the filling slowly so that the eggs won't scramble. And you want to use a fairly large bowl that will rest on top of your pot so the bottom of the bowl does not touch the liquid. We have a fairly big pot there but we have only about maybe a couple of inches of water in it. So basically what we are making here is a zabayone which can be served as a dessert by itself. But today we are using it as a filling for our fritters. Okay so we're going to go ahead and put this uh, on top of our pot and just whisk as we go here until it thickens. As you can see, the filling is done now. It has a nice consistency, relatively thick and not runny. I tasted it, and the last time we tried it with the amount of Marcella that Antonio suggested, we found it a little too boozy for our taste. So cutting it down, uh, for our personal taste, did the trick because you can taste the Marcella, but it's not overpowering. And don't get me wrong, when we tried the original recipe, I didn't mind it that boozy exactly, but I do prefer this. Yeah, because I want angel spot and not boozy. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So with that in mind, so now we're gonna go. So now we are going to uh, set that aside, allow it to cool, and start on our dough. Okay. So we're going to start by adding 125 milliliters of water. And then we're going to add 125 milliliters of milk. as well as 15 grams or half an ounce of butter. And next we'll be adding 55 grams or two ounces of granulated sugar. And then we're adding a pinch of salt. And finally, we are adding one teaspoon of vanilla extract, which is not in the original recipe, but the recipe called for vanilla baking powder, which we couldn't find. So we are just going to add some vanilla. Sometimes we have to substitute a little bit. 
make do with what we have. Then we are going to bring that to a boil. And mix it all together. Now that our liquid is boiling, we're going to add 200 grams or 7 ounces of plain flour. We're also going to add 2 teaspoonfuls of baking powder with the flour and sift that into our mixture. And then we're going to stir that together until it forms a stiff ball. And then we'll allow it to cool, uh, cool down before we add the eggs. Okay, now that our mixture is cooled, we are gradually going to drizzle in the eggs. We're using a hand mixer to do this. You can certainly use a stand mixer if you prefer, um, but you want to mix the eggs in gradually until you get a nice smooth dough. Okay, we are ready to fry our fritters. And the recipe states to use olive oil, but we're going to use regular vegetable oil because olive oil is just kind of pricey to use for deep frying. You don't want your oil too hot, you want it around 170 degrees Celsius or around 340 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, the main thing is that you don't want your oil too hot because you want your fritters to expand slowly and puff up, but you don't want them to burn. Okay, as you can see, we're ready to fry these up. We're just going to add a couple of these to our oil. And what we did, and what Antonio suggests as well, is to fry one um, fritter to see how it fries up before you start doing several of them at a time. And as you can see, our dough is actually somewhere between a dough and a batter. So we're using regular teaspoons to scoop out the dough, and you want to use about a teaspoonful for one fritter. And Antonio says that um, they should take around two minutes to fry, and they should turn over on their own, but if they don't, you certainly can help them along and just flip them over. So while these are cooking, I want to give you a little backstory on this. So Antonio Carlicio and his wife were at a restaurant and they were served these pre presumably for dessert. Yes, they were celebrating his wife's birthday, I believe. Okay, and they were given these for dessert and they liked them so well that they ate the entire plateful and Antonio affectionately nicknamed them Angel's Farts. And he does say to serve these warm, but quite frankly, they taste delicious even when they're cold. Okay, so we have our fritters fried up, so the next thing to do is to fill them. So we've put our filling into a decorating bag with a narrow tip attached to it. We refrigerated the filling while we were frying the fritters. So I'm going to use a knife to make a little hole in the side where we'll pipe in the filling. So these are not quite as dense as a donut, but they're not exactly hollow either. So I'm just going to use my finger to create a little hole in there. This is something I felt was a little beyond my skill set, so I'm going to have her do it. Uh, she's a little more delicate than I would be, I think. And the filling did set nicely, but it's slightly on the softer side, so I don't want to squeeze the bag too much. And then you're just going to insert the tip and gently fill it with a good amount of the filling until it leaks out on top. Like that. And then we're going to set that on our plate and sprinkle it with some powdered sugar. So we're going to go ahead and do the rest, and then we'll show you how it, it turns out. Okay, now for the final touch, we're going to sprinkle over some confectioners or powdered sugar. So we're just going to lightly sprinkle it on top, and then we're done, and we'll be ready for the taste test. Mmm! Mamma mia! So there you have Antonio's Angel's Farts. Interesting name. So most recipes we make on camera for the first time, but this one we actually tried before and we did change it up, um, we, well we changed up the filling a little bit, so we'll see how we like this. Hopefully we we'll like this one a little better. The first one was just a little too boozy for us. This is tender on the inside, slightly crispy on the outside. I can easily see why Antonio and his wife finished the entire plate. So in total we probably got, what, about 30 of them? Some of them may not have made it all the way to the end. <laughs> <laughs> But this is the first finished product we've had, and this is really good. Really, it's fantastic. It looks pretty, it tastes wonderful, and with that, we're going to say goodbye. And as I said earlier, I can't just have one. I'm sorry, I'm going to keep eating. Until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.